Hi guys, welcome to Lovely Twin 22. Vanessa here speaking and today we have another pick a card reading and this is the weekly business reading for October 21 up to October 27, 2019 and each pass was arranged by Archangel Gabriel and St. Michael and the angels told me that within this week you must focus on your career, on your business rather than love life itself because if you focus too much in your love life guys is gonna stress you out right now it's not a perfect time for love life why because eggs are coming to your life and other certain things okay that's gonna stress you out so remember that if something is not working out or if something is bugging you stressing you out let go of it okay focus on other things such as your business your career your hobbies and what makes you happy so that your vibration will shift from stress into something that is uplifting rather than you focus too much on certain things that doesn't serve you or causing you stress and anxiety because the angels say right now is heavy okay when it comes to emotions and that's why they are gonna give you this reading so that you may shift your focus and also it's important of course because career and business is building your stability when it comes to your you know money okay your abundance and they say that you must let go of certain things certain fears that's bugging you because it's gonna drive you crazy if you focus too much on it and pay attention to the red flags according to them because the angels say they are sending you signs on what you focus on and what you should need to let go of because some people they say um they are very stubborn even though they see the signs they don't let go right away i understand you guys i have been through that as well okay i'm very stubborn i was stuck with certain person and then what happened to me is that you know um my heart got broken so anyway in that case scenario the angels say to avoid certain um heartaches and certain regrets in our life the angels are somehow and your guides are giving you signs okay so that these certain things may be avoided and also if you feel like something is not right with a certain person it's not only about love life guys but also based in your career okay remember um what happened in some companies like they got betrayed on by an employee and then suddenly you know there's a downfall with the company so in terms of business be watchful on whom you what they call this you accept in your business or in your career okay because it might affect someday um it reminds me of Tro trojan horse okay as at first you thought it was good for you and then suddenly it was you know your enemy or something that is bad for you and they say pay attention to the red flags it keeps on repeating guys okay could be somebody here in my viewer side you've been giving signs okay by the divine so that um you will let go of certain things that doesn't serve you that's stressing you out so what feels not right you must let go the angels say what feels right for you you must hold it okay why especially in your business guys okay business is just like an experiment based on my experience okay because you know you you can try out many things in business and if it it works out it means that that business is for you but if it doesn't it means that it's not for you it's not right for you okay and make sure that your business is based on what you really like and you may understand your customers um, about certain things because if you don't have any idea about your business then how can you be more approachable to people and 
What important is, guys, okay, for you to be an approachable person in terms of business because, you know, you carry the name of your business. If you're someone who's not approachable, how can people rely on you? How can people, um, what do you call this, be open to you? It's just normal that your customers will be very friendly to you, especially if you have that positive vibe in you. Okay, because, you know, they rather talk rather than someone who's so serious. And remember that even though in business field, even though things are very serious, you must be friendly. And it can attract more customers if you have that vibration. Okay, so is there anything else, angels? They said that you have to relax within this week, okay? Don't pay much attention or focus on something that makes you unhappy, okay? If you're drawn within this week to do your hobbies, then do so. The angels say um, they are pushing you to do that so that your depression and anxiety will be released from your life because really the vibration is very down. And as far as I notice, um, in my case scenario, I'm more focused on stitching, on making clothes for dolls. I don't know why. I know that for me, it's not that, you know, productive because I'm doing it as my hobby. But then I realized that since I have this depression mode, um, the angels are trying to help me to cope up with my depression. So, same to you guys, okay? If you feel um, down, depressed, having that anxiety, the trouble, um, pay attention to your hobbies on what makes you happy so that your vibration may shift. So, that is what I'm going to suggest for you guys. So, is there anything else, angels? They said you have to relax, they keep on repeating, and all is well. Just trust the divine to this. If the business is meant for you, it will bring you abundance and joy and happiness into your life. But if the business is not made for you, you receive certain signs. I know that it's kind of hard for you, but then the angels say, sometimes, you know, you have to let go, they say, because there's something else which is better for you. Just trust a divine to this. There's reason behind it. They told me. Is there anything else, angels? They said that's it. So anyway, guys, we have four piles. Pile 1 is the Ace of Cups. Pile 2 is the Ace of Swords. Pile 3 is the Ace of Pentacles. Pile 4 is the Ace of Wands. Sorry, I forgot to include the numbers here, guys, okay? But, you know, actually what i usually do with my readings like it's like this one two three four <laughs> okay and anyway sorry i forgot guys um anyway just concentrate and focus on your career on your abundance and happiness and joy within this week because the energies are really you know kind of depressing and making you feel low and depressed and anxiety even, the angels say. And on picking your cards, guys, don't base it on your zodiac sign. Base it on your intuition and not your ego. Because your ego might show to you the wrong pile. And if it doesn't resonate well, it might not be the pile for you. And if no cards is calling on to you guys, please don't force yourself. It might not resonate. Okay, that's why no cards or no piles is calling on to you so is there anything else angels they said that's it so anyway post a video if you're not yet ready i'll proceed now with pile number one hi guys for those who chose pile number one which is the ace of cups love card here is your reading all right so let's see what's going on with your business within this week so this is the overall theme for this reading you got poised in both ways they said you also got chop wood in either way they tell observer in both ways so right now your career okay 
You're not that focused in your career. You're more focused on love life. That's what I'm sensing or being with your friends and family. Like, your business is in 50-50. That's why you're focused on other things or you juggle two things at once like love life and career. Or career and business or love life and business. That could be just like what resonates We're going to use some magic cards, angels, and guides. Very intense, guys, okay? Please provide guidance for the cards so that we may be able to know what's going on with the business of pile number 1 commencing October 21 up to October 27, 2019. The angels say you must relax within this week. Okay, no need to worry about two things. And concentrate on what makes you happy if both things are making you depressed or having failures, anxiety. Put that to rest, guys, okay? Don't worry, I'll show you the cards later on. There's a lot. You know my left hand hurts. Somebody from your love life is angry or having bad vibes or negative energy when it comes to you. I don't know why it's about love life. Could be because your card is about love. That, and it's affecting your business as well. But by the way, we'll check, check on it, okay? We'll tackle that. Please be patient with your love life, the angels say. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so that you may be able to know what's going on with the business of pile number 1 commencing October 21 up to October 27, 2019. The angels say that within this week, okay, you gonna feel depressed, having anxiety and troubles in both love life and career. That's why your overall theme is in both ways. No wonder. Don't worry, I'll show you the cards later. That's why I'm not talking. I just let the angels, you know, choose the cards for you guys. Overall theme is diversity both ways. They said, what is the outcome? You will clarify the cards. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so that you may be able to know what's behind the cards presented here. Please help us clarify so we may be able to understand. Thank you. The angels say, um, career and business is important within this week. And about love life, I don't know if they want to release the weekly within um, the next week because, you know, the energy is very intense, to be honest. I'm affected as well. We're on to this together. Tap into your emotions according to the angels. You must relax within this week. You need to take good care of your mental health, according to them. You don't need to think too much negativity, anxiety, and troubles in your mind. Avoid thinking and trying, okay, to relax, okay? Take time for yourself. Take time for time out. That's what I'm sensing that they want to tell you. So, um, this is the overall um, energy for this reading you got diversity in both ways you have plans for the future when it comes to your business guys but then things are falling apart why something happened okay there is arguments there is you know 
in terms of your business and i'm sensing as well with your love life if not business could be in other things and it's affecting you drastically that's why um in the energy field you need to be in a hermit mode so that you will be like this again to follow your plans and not to let go of it according to the angels don't give up your faith in god as well don't give up your faith and trust in your you know in your life trust in yourself don't let fears get the best of you according to the angels because that is the energy it's really affecting you drastically okay within the next week or within this week okay since i filmed this around friday philippine time so anyway but this will resonate for next week by the way so for the first card you got the king of forces and i believe that you got a lot of people around you in your business field and you need to relax you need to let go but i'm seeing with this one even to your friends and family members you're away because you right now you need a vacation okay that's how you feel and it will trigger you if you're someone who loves to travel if you're someone who goes to nature and so forth that is your happiness and joy that is what you're planning to do because your anxiety and pain your depression is getting the best of you so that's why your energy you want to be in a retreat house or you want to be alone okay for this week that's what you're gonna going to do because you can't take it anymore since you're in balance and you need to ground yourself so i understand that and with a page of wands in the reverse you lost your passion okay because of the anxiety and pain that you feel and also you got the king of scrolls that's why you're in balance because you lost your passion you're sad and with a scroll here again okay um i'm really sensing here guys that you need to stick on with your plan when it comes to your business but right now really you need to have a time out okay you need to let go of certain things that's stressing you out you need a break you need to be happy with your life that's how you feel for next week you need to let go they keep on saying let go could be you have toxic people that's around you toxic friends even that's what i'm sensing because you're someone who's lovable and caring energy that's why people are drawn to you and that is your opposite side um what I'm trying to say is that if you're someone who's loving, especially if you're an empath, you're gonna attract people that is opposite of you. That's what I'm trying to say. That's why you attract certain people that are toxic to you because you, um, they are drawn to your energy because of your kindness, of your loving energy, and it causes a lot of heartache in your life. So within next, um, I keep on saying next week, okay? Within that week, okay, there's no communication that's gonna happen. You're gonna be thrown from the people around you because look at this. You had too much heartache in your heart. You are lovable, but then the experiences are telling you guys that you need to back off. You need, you know, before giving that cup, you need to analyze things first like the king of cups um i'm really sensing here suddenly my throat hurts sorry guys so what i see here is that um your throat chakra you can sense that you can't even speak why because the angels are trying to block you from offering right away your your cup of love Okay, they are trying to stop you from communicating from people that doesn't serve you. They are protecting you, to be honest. And it is because you need to end, because the world is also about endings, okay, so that there will be a new cycle in your life. And they are saying to you that um, no matter how much you care for others, you're a people pleaser, if somebody is not giving you the cup that you deserve 
let them go. Because there needs to be an energy exchange. And um, if they are treating you bad, example, okay, you're someone who's not a favorite in your family. And then you try your best, okay? You try your best to be that someone whom will be a favorite of your family. You tried and you tried. But then they still treat you the same way. You're just the last in your family. So basically, how will you feel? Of course, you will feel this heartache. And it's a never-ending cycle if you just let it happen. It will just go round and round. And that's why they ask you to let go. Let go of people who is doing this to you. Let go of that, you know, um, let go of that in need or in needing to please everyone so that they can go to your favor or they may appreciate you more. Because the more that you do that, the more that they will abuse you. Just follow your heart. Follow your dreams. Follow your goals. Okay, be that someone who love yourself rather than love others first. Because it will drain you guys. Okay, love your business. Because they told you, focus on your business. Or focus on your career. If that makes you happy, focus on certain things that makes you happy. If the business is causing you that stress, because as I see here with this King of Forces, you need some time to travel. You need some time to be alone so that you can think straight, okay, without taking people's opinions because, you know, some of you guys, you could be manipulated by someone to do this and that even if it's not healthy for you anymore, okay? And remember, if this is your business, you should be the leader, right? Except if you have a partner. But if your partner is so toxic, guys, okay? Have um have a time out, okay? Have a time out to think it over. That's what I'm sensing here. So then the next card is add some. So I'm seeing here, okay, like you didn't listen to the guides. You rather please people. That's what I'm sensing. And I'm seeing here that the heaven is sending you signs, but you didn't listen. That's what I sense with the add some and then judgment in reverse. And listen to yourself first, according to the angels. You lack self-love for yourself. You more love people than love yourself. That's what I'm sensing about your energy. So the next is path unknown. It tells me that you need to shift your path. Because some of you, okay, just like what resonates, okay, since this is a general reading and I attract a lot of certain energies, some of you, okay, if your business is toxic or if your business partner is toxic, kind of like that, why not start your own business or um, accept a new path? That's what I'm seeing with this. Because you're not happy anymore with where you are with your business. And I'm sensing here that a new opportunity is un is locked. Why? Because you didn't accept it. You're still in this business field or career field. The angels say some of you guys' career could be. Okay, because it's about pentacles money as you can see. And the angels say things are happening this way because they want you to wake up to open the doors for new possible outcomes or for new possible opportunities because you're focused too much on certain things that doesn't work. So what happened is that it's a blockage for you to accept a new um, a new career or business. That's what I'm sensing because there is something out there. Look at that. If only you look at different direction, you can see you succeeding because you are meant to live a certain thing so that you can be successful and happy with your life.
And that new opportunity is someone that is divinely guided for you, something that is meant for you. Because look at the Ace of Pentacles here. It's from heaven. And it's still locked. Because you're stuck in certain thing. And if you see the past unknown, there is a fox there. And you have plans in life. You have a lot of plan, okay? Planning work. As you can see. And I'm really seeing here that you have toxic people in your life, in your career, in your business, could be. And they are against your plan. Or they know your plan and they are against it. They are against your growth. How can you grow if something is holding you back? How can you grow if you're around people that are toxic? How can you grow if people are pulling you down? With anxiety, depression, and so forth. So, that's why the theme of your reading is let go. Okay, let go of, of those things. If you can't let go of them, okay, they are surrounding you because could be they are your family members. I Some people live in their family, right? Just, you know, don't listen if ever they pull you apart. Continue on doing what makes you happy. Continue on being yourself. You don't need to dim your light to fit in. Okay? And I believe that God gave you signs because of the Adsam. And I believe they are trying to instruct you. Trying to tell you the truth that you can do this and that. You need to go to this path. Pay attention to your dreams. The angels say, because sometimes they send you dreams. And remember to write it down in your journal. If ever you have a dream that is, you know, you felt drawn to that dream, um, it brings answers, the angels say. So you got the king of roses and then with a page of cups reverse. So I'm sensing here that some of you, okay, you need to let go of friendship. Because Page of Cups is also about a friendship cup. But then the angels say, like there's something that you need to focus on aside from people that are hurting. What are roses? They are beautiful, right? But then roses has thorns. It hurts. Though they look attractive, it hurts. It can prick you. It can prick your finger. Right? And the angels say, focus on certain people that are true to you. That are true friends. Somebody who's honest to you. Somebody who's nurturing. And not someone who's toxic. You need to let go of certain things that are negative in, to, in your life. And learn to let go of something that is not working out. Go towards that window because if you remain stuck, do you think you can see the window that there's joy and happiness out there? Okay, this is two worlds. You're, you're gonna stuck in this forever if you're not gonna look at the window and see the possibility. And they say that your intuition is telling you the truth that there is certain path, there is another way for you to be happy. For you to have a successful life is to let go of that bondage. Let go of being in a certain box. How can you explore the world if you're stuck in a certain place? That's kind of like that. Okay, and I believe really you have a strong intuition. And a lot of your spirit guides are, you know, focused on you as well. They're sending you signs and they don't stop. The angels say, though you're ignoring it, they keep on telling you. They keep on giving you signs. They keep on giving you red flags. If ever someone is dishonest to you, they are making that people burst. Burst or blunt or tell you the truth. Whether they like it or not, they're making those people speak. And it's up to you to judge them the right way. What do you mean judge the right way? Meaning, judge 
based on not your ego, okay? Basis on your practical thinking. Basis on observing them with their actions, with their words, okay? And learn to, you know, whenever you talk, look at people's eyes. If they can't even see your eyes, if they can't even talk to you um, straight to the eyes, it means they're a liar. Some people are like that. So anyway, you got the treasure here. So, anyway, you're a good manifester when it comes to your business. The only thing that's gonna bug you if somebody will rob your treasure. That's the only trouble, okay? You're successful um, with the business, but then with the people around you, they are the one who's causing trouble when it comes to your business. That's how I see it, guys. So, anyway, let's see about the outcome. I'm sorry about the noise. There's construction going on with my neighbor. So, with the waterfall in reverse, I'm seeing here that you had enough of the drama into your life because it's preventing you from moving forward and looking for some new opportunities out there. For this week, okay, you're gonna purge the pain of the past and you're gonna realize that there's something else better than something that you try to push forward and it's not working because of why look at a chariot card how can a chariot move in this card there is two sphinx here and one controller or who controls this sphinx right and I see here that in your business, you are not, you work with people, okay? You're the one who controls the chariot. And it's telling me that you will be more successful and happy without these people, okay? Because they can get along. And another thing is that the other things want to move forward and the other is just you know sitting there not helping and that is how i notice with the business and i'll share to you something about business stuff you know me and my friends we plan to have a business and it's um, a boutique and what happened is that i'm the one who's moving i'm the one who's looking for you know the things that we should sell and i do this and that and my other my other you know friends didn't take any action i'm the only one and then i realized that if ever i have someone in my business there's nothing nothing is happening but when i start up with my own business that's not about boutique but about something that i really like it bloomed whenever i start a project on my own it bloomed but whenever i start a project with someone else it doesn't like they are abusive because they know to themselves that the other person or their partner moves a lot and they don't have to do anything. That's why what happened is that there's no unity. They, they are abusive if they saw you as someone who's workaholic or pushing things forward for your success. You can be successful if you're someone whom is dealing with somebody who can't even do something for your business rather work on your own rather than work with someone who doesn't help at all all right so for the next outcome you got the community here so i'm really sensing that you're more satisfied if you work alone <laughs> That's what I'm sensing because you have a tendency to work things out on your own. And if you work with someone, there's a tendency of fighting, arguments, you know, that's what's happening whenever you work with people. So basically, one of your outcome, um, it happened to your life based on your business career or love life matters because the heaven is trying to say to you how strong you are and they make you realize your worth 
they make you realize that whenever you deal with people like this, like examine your life in general. What happens whenever you work alone? What happens whenever you work with someone? Does it help? Does it make you successful and happy? Because, you know, if you discover that you are like this, you're happy on your own, then be on your own. Don't accept partnership when it comes to business. Okay, don't accept partners. Because it will create a conflict. That's what's going on with you. Like, you will come to a realization that whenever you have someone in your business, you're not successful, you're not happy, there's always fighting. But if you work alone, everything turns out well. Even if there's storm and waters, we can balance things out. And that is you, that is your capability. And that is what you need to realize is your power to balance things out yourself. And then the next is the War of the Roses. So, um, the angels say, if you are drawn too much of the dramas, you will end up this way. Okay, you will have an argument. That's why they ask you to let it go, put it to rest, whatever stressing you. Because that person will never stop on doing this to you, cheating on you, or, you know, controlling your business and having your money and so forth. It's very toxic. That's why you have to let it go or else you will have this outcome. The War of the Roses. Next outcome will be the Three of Horses. The Bird's Nest. So, uh, what I have here is that you are like this. You're a nurturer person, okay? You're somebody whom is uh, that loving vibe. And the angels say that you will only attract people on same vibration as you are if you learn to let go of certain people that makes you angry, okay? Because they didn't give you the same cup. They didn't give you the same love that you deserve, Okay, you can only attract positive things if you let go of certain things that doesn't serve you and it will unlock the gates to the new abundance. Okay, to another pathway that is made for you. Now, we will see. We will see what are the magic cards that's trying to tell. As about your business guys so you have toxic people around you and within this week you're gonna learn to let that go you're gonna learn to listen to yourself to your higher self to your guides you're gonna pay attention to the red flags and then you will realize something your worth okay you're gonna love yourself even more and you're gonna travel could be within this week you are drawn to travel because you need some time out, a break from people that are toxic in your life. So, you got protected. So, they want to say that you are protected by the divine. That's why they are sending you signs. So, don't ignore it, guys. Okay? And I believe that there's somebody who's controlling, okay, around you. That is very dominant. Think of them as a giant and then you should follow them. And you're being manipulated by these people. That's why what happened is that your business is not succeeding. Or you're not having all that money that you deserve. Okay, in your business. So avoid partnership when it comes to your business, guys. Okay, it's time to love yourself. Okay, you've been loving people, others for a very long time. Why not love yourself? Because if you love too much Okay, and then you didn't receive the same energy or vibe. What will happen to you? You will get drained. And remember, it was like saving yourself from a sinking ship. You need to, you know, wear that life vest on before putting it to someone or helping someone else. Because or else, yes, you help someone, but how about you? You will get drowned, right? With your emotions. So, learn to love yourself. 
and let go, okay? Let go of certain people that is hurting you because I believe that they are in this camouflage phase wherein they try to pretend to be your friend when all honesty they are not. They are not on the same vibration as you are or on the same page as you. And whomever that camouflage person is, they are gonna betray you someday. They are not really your soul tribe or family or whatsoever you call it and with this kind of experience it's gonna grow you into something that is like this or you are meant to be a light worker to help people that's why you have a compassionate heart you have that loving energy why because you're into business right and what happens if you're into business if it will bloom you will be successful and happy. You will be abundant. And one of your light work job is to help the poor, the needy, the oppressed. And that is why you are born to be happy. You are born to be abundant. And these certain people that are toxic is controlling you, manipulating you. Because these people, these things, okay are hurting because you're meant for greater heights okay and you know some evil out there is against those kind of people who are made to be a light worker who are made to help the world so that is what you need to do is to see your worth to see yourself being happy even on your own don't base your happiness on someone else don't expect too much on people yes you're help helpful to others yes you do this and that but you didn't receive anything and you expect too much you expect someone to love you hey okay especially if you're an empath i've been loving people for a very long time but did i get the same vibe or energy from them cut out on pleasing people that doesn't give you back anything that you give avoid people pleasing especially if they're not appreciative of what you do turn against meaning what like if before you're done to them if before you think that you need them you need to turn your back you need to turn to yourself that's what it asks you to do. This time around, listen to yourself instead of listening to others that are hurtful to you, that are manipulative, that are trying to control you in terms of your business. And play. And this time around, you need to, you know, let go of this stress by being playful. Okay, by um, focusing on what makes you happy. That's what they want you to do and hide, okay? I will read this to you. It's simple, really. If they can find us, they can't kill us. Okay, <laughs> so that is what you need to do within this week, okay? To, you know, have some time out. A break for yourself. A break from people that is toxic to you. And then with this wings um, of Valis, well, Changeling um, Magic grants unusual wishes. So this is wishes granted card for me. Okay, even if it's an odd um, wish of yours or something that you dream about, it's gonna work out. Like you're a good manifester when it comes to career, business, and even love life even, okay? Or sometimes... I sense that some of you will say, hey, my love life is like this and like that. Hey, okay, you're a good manifester. Don't pull yourself down. You're an empath. That's why you attract certain people. I know that. I understand that. I'm on your page, guys, okay? And they say that you will attract certain people who is users, who are this and that because you're meant to be someone who's abundant. Because you're a good manifester of money, of abundance, and joy even. And that's how you need to see yourself. Like you don't need someone or a partner in business 
to reach this, to reach your goals and your dreams. You can do it on your own. Don't be afraid. Don't dim your light. And don't listen to them that you can do this and that. No, okay, you're greater than that. You're a great manifester. You have to see yourself and free yourself as you can see, okay? Our fight is not about territory or revenge. It is about freedom, plain and simple. So that's what you need to realize. That you're being manipulated by the people around you in your business field since this is about business, okay? Do you want yourself to be like this forever? So they are asking you to free yourself, okay? Because there's a potential in you and you need to see it, okay? And I think that you're someone who's manipulating yourself. Like, you think that your abilities is just your imagination, hey? It's not true. You have abilities because if I read this to you, the gods gave us no wings to fly, but they gave us an even greater gift, imagination. So I'm sensing here that whatever you think about, whatever you plan is, okay, it can work out. Look at that. This person is alone. But if you're with someone else, as you can see with the tower card, it falls apart. Just examine your life. What keeps on repeating? Okay. It happens. Why? Because you need to learn your lesson. You need to realize something. If you're alone, you can do something. But if you're with someone, it falls apart. That's what you need to examine. And I think some people are telling you that, you know, you can't fly, you can't reach your dreams and so forth. But you have different, you know, abilities that they didn't see. Like you can be a good communicator and then they didn't see and so forth. Don't dim your light, okay? Know your abilities. Know your worth, they say. And I think that this should be the problem, okay? There could be a manipulator that's around you that's thinking of them as the right person. With the order and this card, the giant card for me. Like you're the one who seeks your freedom. What are riots, okay? What are rallies? They are, you know, seeking something, seeking peace. And they want the leaders to listen to them. And what's happened is that the leader always get what they want and so forth. That's what's happening to your business. And they say that, take it easy. Let go of these control issues of other people. Let go of them. Because be brave, they say. And you must see yourself succeeding even on your own. Because it's, there's conflict if you work with someone else. But there's no conflict if you only work on yourself. Or, you know, have a stand-alone business. And trust yourself. Because, you know, to be honest, I'm handling to business. Okay? And I'm the only person there. I don't have any partners when it comes to my business. Okay, because whenever I have, it turns apart or somebody will just get my money and so forth. So, it, you know, just business is an experiment as I tell you. Okay, at first it's just a scratch. Okay, you're walking baby steps. And it's just normal to have downfall in business, guys. It's normal. Don't mm -hmm. down yourself. Because it's an experiment for you to learn things, okay? For you not to make the same mistakes. And that's why what's happening to you guys, it keeps on repeating because it's waking you up to come to your senses that you're somebody greater than the person who's manipulating you. You can do better. You can be successful and happy without them, without the chains. Do you think you're comfortable with this? Somebody putting a chain on you and controlling you, manipulating you. Of course not. Okay, of course not. You're a manifester. You can manifest on your own. 
You can do this on your own. And don't forget to love yourself. Okay? So with the observer card and this in either way, why is it like that? Why? Because I feel like you're someone who's afraid of this observer. They say, you must make this in reverse. Don't, don't be someone who has that anxiety, depression of thinking, what will this tell me? What will this person think about me? Or, you know, people please her. Please avoid doing that. Learn to listen to yourself. If you can only do, just try to let go of Facebook. Okay, avoid posting too much. So that people like this will, you know, not bug you. They will not bug you if you don't post anything. That's what I'm gonna suggest to you. And with the chap wood here, this is an easier way. Why? Because within this week, guys, okay, you feel this way. Like, you you don't wanna work. You're, you're someone who's workaholic. You work a lot with your business. You're the one who's taking an action. But then I see here that someone in your business doesn't really work or is not helping you out so what they want you to do is to have some time out take a break okay and then if the time is right you will be like this again just don't be harsh to yourself okay you've been working so hard it's time for a break it's time for a vacation and you need a time out as well for your mind because I think, guys, you've been thinking too much. And also, your mental health is at stake in terms of your, you know, mental health issue. So, as the angels say, be prepared for something better. And I believe that is why the Ace of Cups is here. Love. And I think that love is from God. Because, you know, you're heavily guided by the divine to let go of something that is toxic so that you can be able to accept the gift for you from the divine. And in order for you to break the walls is to turn away from something that doesn't serve you, that created that chains, that boundaries to reach this gift from the divine. Okay, and then if you're feeling well, you can turn this in upright according to the angels and believe in yourself that you can do something better. And this is an easier way because po people around you are pulling you apart. That's why you're preventing yourself to see your verse. You're preventing to see yourself like you have this place, you have this confidence in you. And it's because you're stuck with certain people. It's reverse. Okay, you can turn this in upright. Alright. So anyway, here are the advice from the angels. So you got dance with life. Do something to change your energy. So since uh, your energy vibe within this week is kind of low, um, do something. This reminds me of the play card. Okay, in the magic cards that I have here. Okay, remember to do certain things that makes you happy so that um, it will shift your energy vibe. Okay, do this. Just be happy and be with someone or be with friends or family members even that could make you happy. Not someone who's toxic, okay? <laughs> Alright, so you have Keepers of the Earth. You are not alone and... Asian ancestors stand beside you. So you're being supported by the divine. And not only by God himself, but also those who passed away in your life. Even though you don't know them, you're, you don't know your ancestors, they're always with you. That's why they are giving you red flags or certain signs that will help you in a daily basis because they are supportive of you and you're not alone in this journey and they want to say to you that you are loved by them okay and remember to pray as always keep faith to the divine and you will be guided on towards the light in your journey in this lifetime
Then the next is play. Yes, you could play twice. <laughs> All right. So what it says? Have fun, celebrate. Don't be so serious. So that. It so within this week, it's time to relax. Okay. When it comes to your business, take a pause. Okay, and then let go of control issues. Let go of wanting to please everyone. It's now time to love yourself. Okay, so the next is Lemuria, creating heaven on earth. It's happening. So this is your task on earth. Why are you abundant? Because this is your light work job. Okay, it is really a challenging, you know, challenging mission work on earth as a light worker is to don't dim your light despite of the you know craziness or destruction that's happening in your life don't dim your light for them and remember we are light workers we are meant to be with people or be an empath and be there for certain people that are opposite of us it is because we have that healing light healing energy wherein um we inspire people okay to be kind despite of that loneliness sadness in our daily um daily life basis and since it's about business guys okay you are meant to be abundant and look at these trees look at this water that is you you're the giver of life for others you're a giver of money and for anything but okay right now please yourself okay you're not yet there you need to chill you need to you know understand your words you need to see why it's happening the lesson that you need to learn so that in the future you will be abundant even if it means it's on your own okay um just don't put a burden to everyone that they should make you happy and so forth because you can be happy even on your own because you're not alone in this journey you're with the spirit guides you're with your ancestors with you're with your family you're with your um friends that are really your soul vibe and anyway this is what you need to keep in mind why you still need to survive in this lifetime because you need to do this. Okay? Make this as an inspiration. And if people use you in the past, what you need to remember is that um, you learned that lesson because you need to help certain people that are really in need and not someone whom is just using you. Okay? That's what you need to keep in mind. Next card is soul family. Call in your tribe. You don't have to do it alone. So you really have those friends or family members even that are on the same vibration as you are. The more that you know yourself, the more that you are drawn to people that are really or tap into your energy. Which is a light worker, which is on the high vibe, who would understand you, and that is your soul family. What are not is your opposite, whom is toxic, who doesn't understand you, manipulative. Those are low vibrations, okay? And I believe that you have those soul family that's around you. But if you're a certain person whom is more comfortable to be on your own, especially if you're sad, I understand that, guys. Okay, I will not force you to do this if you're comfortable in being a hermit whenever you're lonely. But the angels say, if they give you a sign that they, you should be with someone, okay? Because it happened to me last week. Why? Because, you know, suddenly, last week, okay, I went out around Friday and I don't know why the angels are pushing me to go out on Friday and because I really need to send something to one of my customers that time and, you know, I feel lazy, I don't want to go out, but then the angels asked me to do that. And what happened last week is that since I go out, I met a certain friend. It's um, my college friend. And that college friend of mine tell me that there's gonna be a, an event, okay? About our bashmate whom has a house blessing. 
and I never didn't expect to be on that certain thing or on that certain event, really. All right, so the next thing is the leap. You go first, the universe will catch you. So what I have here is that don't be afraid to be on your own, to take that leap of faith to leave those people that are hurting. Okay, and anyway, about my story, okay, never thought that I'd be on that certain event since, you know, I've been hermit mode, I'm not into with my friends, and I just go out whenever it's needed for my business, for my career, and so forth. And, you know, I realized that could be that heaven wants me to hang out with my friends so that my energy will shift, so that I can somehow experience to breathe since I've been, you know, alone. <laughs> okay, anyway, sorry about that. I got distracted. Anyway, with this leap, um, they are asking to take that leap of faith, okay? To trust the divine that you are being supported. Um, Don't be afraid to be alone because some people here who's viewing this, okay, you're afraid could be that you don't have any partner when it comes to your business and so forth. The angels say that you must let go of certain things that you think about yourself is unhealthy because you can go do something to change your life. And if you want change in your life, it always starts on with yourself. Okay, and not always in prayers, like you will pray, hey, I want to be successful, I want to be this and that. Well, nothing will happen to your life if you didn't do anything, right? So, the first step is that for you to do the steps that you're guided to do. You go first, the universe will catch you and trust the divine, trust and have faith in yourself as well. And the faith will push you forward. Um, remember Goliath and David, right? David is small, but Goliath is big. But he was able to kill Goliath. How did he do that? Because of faith. Because he have courage. And he is brave. And you need to do the same thing, especially your... With these people that can manipulate you, that can, you know, hypnotize you that you're little, I'm big. They're bullies, okay? So, why do you need these toxic people in your life? That's what I'm gonna ask you. Because you can do better without them, as I see with the Nine of Cups. If nobody uplifts you, hey, I'm here, I'm uplifting you. You're greater than you think. Because to be honest, you know, you don't know me in my past. I think that I'm a late bloomer. Because on my past, really, um, when I was in kinder, I can't even speak. To be honest, around people. I have that fear, anxiety troubles, and depression even. I'm not that expressive before. And my grades are low back then. And I don't even understand why now I can speak. <laughs> I can be communicative with people. I'm now in YouTube and talking and talking. Because I'm not like this before. I'm not expressive, you know. And you know what? If you don't dim your light, if you see yourself um, succeeding, if you change your mindset, if you... You don't follow what people think about you. You will do greater things in life. Okay? Whether or not you're a late bloomer or not. Hey. Okay? Even if you're like that, there is something great inside of you. You have a talent. You have skills. Then why not show the world about it? Okay? You can do better than that. Yeah. <laughs> you need to break the chain. <laughs> Yeah, you need to break this. Yeah, you have a chain here. <laughs> okay. Ancestral patterns, healing, rewriting the future. So, you're a good...
person when it comes to planning. That's what I see with your readings. You have at least three scrolls that comes out in your reading. Both the overall energy and then you also got this one. You're good at it. You're good at planning, as I see. And you can rewrite it. You can rewrite your plans. And on your plan, try to write it on your own. Don't let ego rule over you that you need the advice of this and that. Because to be honest, if you open your heart, your mind, body, and soul in listening, even to God himself, the angels, your ancestors, and so forth, you will be guided to the light. Okay? You just need to talk to the right people and not someone who's manipulative. Not someone who will use you because they see you as someone whom is giving, caring, and nurturing. Because most people who are like that, they easily get manipulated by others. Okay? So learn to see your light. Learn to shine, even on your own. So you got these cards. You got Nine of Michael. Your worry is unnecessary. Focus your thoughts on the outcome you desire. Release feelings of regret, guilt, or worry to your angels. So, within this week, it's time for you to relax. To, I'm thinking about the hotel, <laughs> okay? You need to travel, okay? You need to breathe. You need to have some time alone. Or be with your soul family if you're not comfortable to be alone. Or if you're comfortable to be alone, then do this, okay? And let go of certain worries or negative thinking because it will affect your mental health. Next card is Nine of Ariel. Your dreams are fulfilled. Hard work leads to great success. I love for the beautiful things in life. So look at this image. How many people are here? <laughs> Only one, right? As I told you before, you can be successful on your own. Trust that, okay? You don't need a partner to be successful and happy. If that current partner is somewhat toxic, somewhat controlling, you don't need that, okay? In business, you know, it's more important to see your worth. It's more important to examine, um, did my business go well when I have a partner? Did it go well with this and that? Because to be honest, you know, it's like being single. You can do everything you want if you're single. But if you're someone who's manipulative, controlling, and so forth, do you think you can travel? Do you think you can even talk to your friends if somebody's being controlling over you? Or manipulating you to do this and that? Same also with business. If your partner is somebody who's controlling you not to do this, not to take an action, and so forth, it's stressful, guys. Okay? But if you are alone, you can do anything you want. You can reach greater heights. You can have a lot of creative ideas, and you can do that. Okay? And avoid posting too much, according to the angels. Why? Because this manipulative people is still around you who is trying to laugh behind your back. And that is kind of negative energy vibe, so please avoid it right now. That's what I'm sensing. And you got Knight of Gabriel, confident, enthusiastic, courageous, charismatic. Time to take action. Great passion for a cause. Instinctively knowing just what to do. So... This is you, okay? In the future, when you get hold of things, the angels say, it's because you know how to plan. And why not achieve it? Um, the only lacking here is that you need to, you know, let go of certain issues that you hold deep inside of you. You need to be confident. You need to be courageous like David. And you can manifest anything you want. All you need to do is, is trust yourself. And of course, guys, don't 
dim your light to fit in and also trust the divine you need to have faith okay because by faith that is where we get our energy that is where we get our light whenever we are depressed and remember whom we talk to whenever we have a downfall it's god himself and without god we can't do anything and without god david cannot i'm sorry yeah david cannot defeat goliath okay you need to trust the divine and trust yourself as well so is there anything else angels and so that's it so thank you for watching those who chose pile number one and sending you all peace love and light bye hi guys for those who chose pile number two which is the ace of swords a victory card here is your reading all right so let's see what's going on with your business pile number two so here is come to the edge both ways they said and then i in in either way you're kind of like the vibe of number one which is confused energy here but then we'll see guys all right angels and guides please provide guidance for the cards so that you may be able to know what's going on with the business of pile number two commencing october 21 up to october 27 2019 the angels say you must relax within this week you don't need to rush things over and over again because the more that you rush the more that you know you can do it but then it's not that good the angels say because you know um things when it's rush it's getting out of hand according to them i'll show you the cards later on don't worry i feel like you guys okay you've been asked to take a time out with your business with your career you felt shown on doing your craft which is your hobbies your skills the things that makes you happy and i think that what makes you happy will bring you success in your life that's what i'm sensing with number two because that is what you're passionate about that is where um you you enhance your talents and your skills which is really actually great and you need to tap into your artistic side according to the archangels and your guides as well like your your talent don't take it negatively even though you don't um what you call this so you don't need to be perfect okay it takes um baby steps to perfection and also the angels say don't doubt yourself okay that's what i'm sensing as well so let's see guys angels and guides please provide guidance for the cards so that we may be able to know what's going on with the business of pile number two commencing october 21 up to october 27 2019 the angels say if you ask advice from the divine they are sending you signs on what you should be doing within this week they say if you're being pulled on to or do artistic works and you think like it's kind of like a waste of time and energy and effort they say no don't think negatively about it because actually you can use it in the future they say you may find it like a trash okay but then you know when time comes it's needed and the angels say right now you're prone or you're prone on doing artistic works within this week most of you guys could be artistic and the one that chose pal number two not only artistic things but also writing singing dancing anything that has to do with talents and arts and skills your hidden talents they say you're being drawn to do that the whole week that's what i'm sensing so overall energy is archangel gabriel in both ways so what is the outcome i'll show to you later somebody is bugging your mind 
Like somebody is trying to control you, manipulate you in any way. Alright, upon saying that there's a lot of, you know, <laughs> destruction <laughs> is going on. Anyway, you have a lot of cards as an outcome. You are a beginner of some sort of project, that's what I'm sensing as well. Which is actually great. Um, you're going to start off a new business or a career venture which will bring you abundance and joy into your life. And you're going to join a lot of people. Um, and also your family members will be very supportive of you since you're very talented. And for the first time in the history, that's what I'm sensing. They gonna be proud of you. <laughs> anyway, let's see. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so that you may be able to know what's behind the cards presented here. Please help us clarify so we may be able to understand. Thank you. One more shuffle, dear request. No need to worry is what they say to you. So, I'm letting the angels place the cards where they want to place it. The heaven is sending you gifts, like um, abundance that you didn't expect, unexpected gift from others, unexpected help financially, something to do with money. Because you're gonna start out a new business adventure, it's more on, I'm sensing clothes thing, boutique. I don't know why, but it comes to my mind. Somebody is supportive of you, and you didn't see that person yet. Like you're unaware that somebody behind the scenes is helping you out. It could be a secret admirer is what I'm sensing as well. I forgot to clarify the other. There you go. So anyway... Here is your overall energy and this is Archangel Gabriel. So I'm really sensing that you have an admirer that's around you. But then you're not focused on that admirer because you're focused on the divine. Okay, you're being drawn or pulled on to do what you are asked to do rather than love life. And I'm sensing that you're more focused on your abundant rather than this person and with Archangel Gabriel here there is a news coming towards you which you didn't expect because this comes out in either way it means that yes you're listening to the divine okay but you're not looking at Archangel Gabriel here why is it like that I'm looking at the angel and then I'm not looking at the other angel why because this is something that is a surprise for you Okay, and it's gonna affect your weekly reading for business. And that news, happy news, is gonna bring you abundance and joy into your life. Now, first card is the muse. So you're someone who's like this, okay? You have a lot of talents, but then not all your talents um, is what you focus on. Because I'm really sensing here that you're somebody whom has a lot of talents and skills but then you don't have much time to do it and so forth like every skill that you have needs time and that's why you're doubting yourself because you want to rush things okay example if you're into making clothes making artistic works it takes time right whenever you paint and do this and practice makes perfect remember that because if you rush things, they say, how can you learn if you rush things? That's what they want to tell you. And the truth is, even though you didn't see the give and take yet in terms of your talent, like you put your effort there and you didn't receive any money for it. You just, you know, you just thought it's just a practice because it's a failure and then i do this again again it's a failure they say don't be afraid to make mistakes when it comes to your you know craft and you don't need to be harsh on yourself by telling that whatever you do didn't comes out well okay because you know 
people, the artists, okay, they make a lot of mistakes in the past before they can perfect an art. And that's what you need to keep an open mind about because there's someone who is so serious that you didn't focus on anyone else. You thought that you're alone to this, to this business of yours. Okay? But the angels want you to know how much people are worried about you. Because you've been working, you've been indoors, you're not going out there. And I think you know, okay, with the moon in the reverse, you know already. You're just tired of drama, could be because of the waters, so you're not looking at it. And you're not looking at anyone. You're just focused on what you're doing. So that's what's going on with you and your business. You're focused on it, <laughs> okay? And I think that the angels, if you're in a home-based job or business whatsoever, they ask you to go out. They ask you to learn more about your life, about your other talent that you didn't tap into. That's what they also want to, you to do. And I think that you have a lot of lovers. <laughs> That's what I'm really sensing here, okay? That's willing to give you that love. I'm sensing like you've been single for a very long time. I don't have any idea why your business reading became a love reading, okay? Alright, let's tackle it, okay? So, you're not expecting it to happen because as I told you with the overall energy here, you're not looking at the man here. Or whoever that lover was, you're looking at the divine, you're doing the things that they ask you to do, and you're not even looking at the surprise of the angel for you, or the heaven for you. Because, they say, it's surprise. It's surprise for doing the task on earth. If you're a light worker, if you're doing a great job, this is your divine partner and this somebody will support you in terms of your finances this person is abundant a joyful person but as well as this person is also logical the only one that is lacking here i think is the fire sign the passionate one and then also the warm water yeah but then I believe that this person is lonely as of this time. That's what I'm sensing with your energy vibe. I don't know why, but it comes up. But the angels say, this person will come to your life, offer you something, and you have to make sure that you're open to receiving. Because this person, why it's about love and it's about business that we talk about? Because this person... Okay, it will help you with your business. Okay. We'll will open the doors for new opportunities. Like example, Rapunzel. She's good at arts, right? She's good at singing and so forth. She has a lot of talent. And how can she accelerate if she's stuck in the inside the tower, right? So she needs to go out there to explore the world. She needs to get out there. To have her talent be broadcast throughout the world. <laughs> okay. So that's why the Prince Charming came along. Or whoever that was. Okay. To rescue Rapunzel. Right. Same also with your story. Since you've been stuck up there for a very long time. Okay. You've been waiting for that special someone to come to your life. And then that's it. This person will help you, you know, to gain success in your life. That's why he or she is coming towards you. And this is someone who's abundant and also a logical thinker. And then the next is the birth in reverse. So I'm really sensing here, guys, you're single. <laughs> okay, you're single. And you're too focused on your money, your abundance, your joy. Your... Nobody really give this to you. Like, you feel like you're unsuccessful and happy when it comes to relationships. That's how I feel with this card. I don't know why it turned to be a love reading. I'm really annoyed. <laughs> anyway, with the Queen of Keys in reverse, okay? So, the angels say, um, you're unhappy as of this time when it comes to your career. Because you're starting off with a new venture, you're into arts, music, so first, okay, you're 
you think you're just a beginner, you're not yet that, you know, great when it comes to doing those things. That's why you feel burdened with your thoughts. And again, we have a partnership here with <laughs> King, King of Swords and then the Queen of Swords. So what I have here is that you need to stand in your power like the Queen of Swords. You need to cut off your thinking that process in your thoughts because you might accidentally manifest it into your life. So avoid doing it. Because if you do this, it might create a tower moment. But if you focus in this passionate desire, this thing that you started off, because this is Ace of Wands, it is something new. Okay, that's coming your way or what you started at with your business. They say don't stop, don't dim your light, don't think like you will not be successful in this journey, in this new business venture that you're into. Because I believe you will be. Because somebody will be very supportive of you. And in order for you to be successful is that you need to let go of your negative mindset. Because I think the only blockage here, guys, is the way you think. Okay, you can turn this in upright. If only you stand in your power as a queen of swords. Okay, remember that within this week. Because to be honest, the energy these days is very low. So that's why you're so drawn with your talent. Because the angels want you to shift your focus. Wants you to shift in what it is that you really want to do. In your talent, in your skills. Because that is your heavenly abundance. Okay, that is your talent. Why not embrace it? Why not love it? And it's God's gift for you to be successful and happy with your life. So don't doubt yourself, okay? And it's now time to take a break from the world according to the angels and let this come to you. This lover who will come and help you manifesting your business and you will not see it coming. It could happen, um, if not within this week, could be near future. Because I believe that it will just happen all of a sudden without you even realizing it. Like example, um, I have this, you know, calling from God. Like that day when he, what do you call this? When he wants to take my life. I refuse, okay? I refuse that he will get my life. What I mean by that, I should be dead. Okay, but then... Um, I say to God that I still want to fulfill my mission work on earth. I'm not yet done. That's why I'm still here in this world. So what happened is that, you know, God gave me another mission on earth, which is to bring abundance and joy to the world. Okay, it's more a harder task for me. And on that moment, I'm not yet successful and happy in terms of my career. And I'm... I wasn't able to, you know, um, fulfill my task yet. But then, you know, I don't believe at first what God made me see. That I should be with someone who is like this. Who will um, put me to something that I should be in. That I should be abundant in. I don't believe at first. Okay? Because I think it was impossible. And then suddenly... Okay, out of nowhere, it's just my friends ask me to go out. Ask me to go to an art exhibit. I attend there and that is where I met this guy. The one that God called on to help me. And I know that was the person. Because, you know, um, we're kind of like on the same page and... It's very odd <laughs> that someone may understand me, someone may have the same experience as me, and so forth. Really, if you met that person that is meant for you, you will know right away. Especially if you know yourself. That's why I always tell you guys to learn something about yourself. Because if you don't know yourself and you're an empath, you attract, you know, something that is opposite of you. And it's very hard for an empath to see 
which is which, which is the one for you. Since you also attract the opposite um, vibe that you have. And that is why I recognize my person. Because I know myself. And I want you guys to do the same thing. To know yourself so that you may identify this person who will help you with your career, with your business. And on doing um, your task on earth as light workers, if you're a light worker. Anyway, guys, here is your outcome. So you got the king of keys reversed. So what we have here, guys, is that you feel right now you're unsuccessful and happy within this week. Okay, that is how you feel. But you're someone who has plans. Okay, you have a lot of, you know, you could be dealing with two business. You could handle that. And you're confused on which is which is gonna make you happy and successful. And as I told you, um, the only blockage that you get for being successful and happy is only your mental state. And you're, you're on there, okay? You're getting out of this 10 of swords energy because 10 is also a completion, right? So that it will turn back into one or into an ace. So, anyway, the angels say, avoid thinking negative things because it will, um, what do you call this? It will just shatter your energy. You will feel like this. You will be unhappy with your life if you're more focused on negative thinking. That is what it tries to tell you. And then the next thing is this okay the light of the world and as i told you someone is coming to your life who will make you happy who will bring you success money into your life and that person will give you an inspiration to work harder with um your talent or skills your new business venture because i believe that you're starting something new because that is how i sense or what i sense in your reading Okay, and that person, since this person will come forward, you will be passionate. And with the full reverse, I'm seeing here, I'm thinking something positive about this. Okay, your the full card is in reverse. I know that if it's upright, it's more positive, like you will take that leap of faith. But for me, since the full card is looking at this side of success and somebody who's inspired or working very hard, you're going towards this. You're getting away from having this anxiety, fear from not moving forward in life, from being in conflict into something that will bring you success and money even and i think that somebody really will come to your life someone who will help you succeed someone who is as the same page as you are same vibration and this someone who's coming to your life is mature okay could be an older person than you are or someone who's wiser okay beyond their age that could be and the angels say, this person will come to you. Just relax, okay? Don't force it to happen right away. Because this person will come towards you unexpectedly. Do you think this person expects this one? <laughs> Look at that. This person is busy with their craft on what they're doing. And this person doesn't even know that somebody is coming to their life. And this person is your light towards your world. And he or she will bring you money, abundance, success in your life. And then the next is Archangel Raphael. So could be somebody broke your heart in the past. That's what I'm sensing. And you suffered a lot from certain people that use you for money purpose. Somebody who hurt your heart with a green hair, with a heart chakra. And the angels say it's judgment, like good karma will come your way. Like even though certain bad things happen to your life, but since you have been a good person, you don't deserve this sadness in your life, your will of fortune will shift into something that you really deserve. Like good karma will come within. Not within this week, but I believe that if it didn't happen within this week near future, okay? Just trust the divine that it will happen. Because even though you don't 
you know, you don't believe at first, just like what happened to me, like I didn't believe it, suddenly it appeared. I became very speechless when it happened. Okay, because I doubt it. But if it's meant for you, if you really meant to have this good karma into your life, well, it will happen, guys. Trust and have faith to the divine. It will happen. Okay? You're not alone in this journey, the angels say. They have seen your, you cry. They have seen you being betrayed by others. They have seen you being kind to others, being giving even if you don't have money. And that's why the heaven is pleased to see you and give you the one that you deserve. Because you've been suffering for a very long time, according to the angels. And now it's time to move on away from your sadness. Because your Prince Charming or your Princess is coming to save you from the Tower of Destruction. And anyway, with the balance here, this is another outcome, guys. So, anyway, you're going to have a successful future with your business, which is really a good thing. And I think within this week, you're going to practice your craft. You're going to be working on with your new business venture. And then you're going to be successful with it. You're going to have abundance and joy into your life since that is what you're focused on because you're not focused on other things. Like you're focused on what the angels, the guides are asking you to do. Because, you know, if you're focused on one thing, it's very hard to make a mistake, right? But if you're focused on other things, your mind is conflicted. Your mind is confused. Like, it's easier to focus on one thing, right? And that's what you're doing. That's why you're balanced. You're grounded. Because by the heart, you understand that it must happen. Like, you must focus on this. Because you're in this reading. <laughs> that could be. Because I tell you, it's really a good thing. You know, another thing is that if a light worker show you a video like this, okay? It's meant to happen for you. Because we are trying to help you. And by us, you're being instructed on what you need to do so that you will be focused on the things that you need to focus on instead of other things that doesn't serve you, which is actually great, okay? Acknowledge those people who's helping you in YouTube. Because to be honest, the truth is it's very hard for a light worker to send videos, especially if they are busy, okay? I do acknowledge them. And... Of course, the angels say, like, by the light workers, okay, by these people in YouTube, they are embracing you. They, the divine is using them so that you will understand the truth that you are loved. You're not alone in this journey. You'll always be divinely guided by the divine, by God himself, okay, by us. And you're not alone in this journey, okay? So the next is... The next is the King of Forces in reverse. So what I sense here is that um, right now, within this week, you're going to be focused more likely on yourself. You could be healing because some of you, okay, I see here that you just got out of a connection. Could be a love relationship or could some somebody could have betrayed you. So, somebody that you need healing from, okay, you'll be busy on healing that. And also releasing yourself from negative thinking, trying to purge the pain. You will feel, some of you, that's why I also sense that um, kind of depressive energy here. Okay, could be because you're healing. That's why they need you to know that how much you are loved, how much God appreciates your doing. And also, they also want you to know that Right now, your skill, your talent will bring you joy and happiness. Since it's something that makes you happy, it could help you shift your vibration. Even though you're sorrowful right now, you're sad, since you're doing the one that you're happy to do, um, you're gonna lose your focus from the certain things that makes you feel negative or makes you feel sad. And then the next is caught in the ruins reverse. Yeah, some of you guys got out of a relationship, really, with this. 
and could be this person ate your money that can be or they have a tendency to make you lose your balance or ungrounded feel and i'm sensing here that you're moving on from that energy because i'm seeing here that you're trying to ground yourself by being passionate on what you do and again when it comes to you know the pages of ones the ones energy as a fire as the cards of passion as the cards of you know creativity since you're tapping into it that is your staff a staff on which will help you to rise up again will help you to you know stand again on every downfall and that's what you need to focus on so that your vibration will shift you will be grounded and despite of you having this multiple task i i believe that within this week you're gonna focus on one thing and not on certain different things like you're not scattered within this week you have been guided by the divine okay by the signs and also by channels to do a certain thing and you're doing it and use that use that vibration use that skill so that you can be able to stand again the angels say after a downfall then the next is the diversity in rivers so some of you you will shift your plans could be the heartache that also you got here is that um, you're gonna let go of something could be a business again and you try a new thing so what we have here is that if you have difficulty with your money they say save that money try to be someone who's control your money and don't let anyone to waste your money that's also the suggestion here because you have this twice and i see in some cases since this is a collective guys please okay just take what resonates all right so i see that some of you experience this like somebody is getting your money somebody is using you for abundant purposes based on their own you know self based on their self or egotistical mindset and so ever somebody has been controlling you in money purpose and this time around you need to be an emperor you need to take charge of your life okay because you're conflicted by this person and i believe that with the four of swords you feel like this person is not your soul vibe okay you only feel stress the swords rather than your heart it means that somebody is toxic like you have a strong feeling that that person um is just using you or somebody whom is not really in best interest they say let that go you just attract this person because that person is attracted to your kindness is attracted to your kind energy and i believe that you have been suffering for this for a very long time no wonder that heaven wants to reward you something greater okay because as i see blessing is coming your way because of your kindness okay so with a diversity in reverse what it asks you since this is your clarifier what is ask you to do is let go of certain things okay let go of certain people that is hurting from your plans yes you have a plan but then you have to release those people that are manipulative over you that are controlling that are not of best interest in your plan release them okay you need to stand in your power and be in control of your life no need to be indecisive learn to listen to your heart if somebody is hurting why you should keep them you should keep someone who's in the same vibration as you are that's what you're being called on to do next card is the king of scrolls in reverse again full of scrolls and it's all in reverse why and i believe that okay in the king of scrolls energy here i believe really that you need to let go of someone that is causing you pain in terms of mental or emotional level because something is causing you trouble 
And I think that it's affecting your plan to go forward in your life. If somebody has been hurting you, like they will tell that um, whatever you do, you, you have a talent, right? You're doing your creative job within this week. And that someone could be is somebody who will tell you, hey, that doesn't look nice and so forth. They want to tell you to let go of it. Let go of those things that they tell you that is negative. Especially if they, you can't avoid those people, especially if they are your family member and so forth. Just let it go, okay? Let that, you know, negative energy away in your life. Learn to listen to yourself. Learn to identify what's good for you and not. And it will bring you success and money even if you're positive. Hmm, I see here that the reason why your plan is not moving forward is because of your sadness. And for some, since I told you that there's a new lover that's coming to your life, and that's another reason why this is in reverse. Because you're not making any plans alone. You've been lonely for a very long time. You've been single for a very long time. Somebody will come to your life unexpectedly. And I think this person will come to your life while you experience this kind of hurt. It will just come to help you accelerate your energy. And I told you this person will bring you abundance and joy into your life and happiness as well, according to the angels, because that is what you deserve. And you will build a life together, a family, a business, and whatsoever. Since this is a business reading, okay? Um, this is more likely, <laughs> there's a love reading here. But that love reading, okay, it has a connection with your business. Because that person who will come to your life is someone who is supportive of you and someone who will help you achieve things in your life. You will be abundant with your new business venture. That's what I'm sensing. And you're doubting it. And I see this as Ace of Cups commitment and so forth. I think that you're doubting that this will come to you. You always think that you're a failure when it comes to your career, business, or love even. And the angels say, now you have to relax. You have to let go of certain negativity in your headspace because, you know, you will achieve this. This person is coming to your life. And that person is someone who is a light worker. Could be, um... I posted a new reading. I don't know if you see it. It's who's coming to your life. Could be you choose number three. Okay, because on number three, this light work card is there. Okay, that could be your person. And I think that if you meditate, it will bring answers. Because some of you, okay, you're anxious. You're having this vibe wherein you don't trust anyone. That's why you tend to, you know, spy on them first, on them first, and so on. And the angels say, if you're doubtful, if you're like this energy, like you've been through a lot of hurt, a lot of pain, and anxiety, I understand you guys, why you feel this way. You're afraid of being heartbroken again. They say, trust the divine to this. You can sense it. You can feel it. Once that the person is there, by meditation, by listening to your heart, by listening to your angels, by listening to your dreams, okay, paying attention to the red flags, paying attention to the signs. It will bring answers rather than be anxious forever and not, you know, still closing the gate. Because if you do that, that's a blockage of receiving something that is great. So avoid negative thinking, guys, alright? So anyway, here is the overall theme. You got the yin in both ways. They say that it's because you didn't see it coming. Okay, this is more about love offer. It reminds me of the cups and yes, it's feminine energy. Why is feminine energy is here even if Amelie is watching this video? Why? Because you know, 
this is more about talents, about you know sewing or artistic works. Um, they say it's kind of gayish or so forth, but the angels say it's your talent. You must embrace it, okay? And also, it tells me with a cup energy here, somebody is coming in your life unexpectedly because this is in either way you think it will not come it will come to your life and it will help you to take that leap of faith because right now you're stuck okay you're stuck with negative thinking you're stuck on thinking like your business will get nowhere and so forth but since this person will come it will be in a bright. It will help you to reach your dreams, your goals, your desires. And this person, whoever this is, will help you to reach that. Will be very supportive of you. Will be caring and also will be abundant. Like you. And you will grow together according to the angels. So you have victory. That's why you have the victory card which is the Ace of Swords. You, you don't have to doubt your talent. You don't have to doubt about the new business that you're into because it will bring you success and money into your life. And right now within this week, as I observe with your reading, guys, some of you, okay, you will be alone first by doing your art. And that kind of art, that kind of business venture will bring you joy and happiness so that your vibration will shift. And if you think that that certain career or business is not helping you out, it is, okay? It is helping you also in your mental health issue. And also, it will bring you success and money even if you perfect it. And we know a talent takes time to perfect. So please, guys, don't be harsh to yourself. And the new lover will come towards you, either by this week or upcoming future. So these are the advice from the angels. You got birthing a new age, birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into being. So anyway, um, right now you're releasing a lot of negativity, past hurts and pain, some regrets of the past. They say, let that go. Because something new is coming to your life, a new lover, and you're starting off a new business venture or you're trying out a new skill, a new talent that you haven't tried. And it's going to bring you success and money. And I see with the images here, notice that a violet and pink. Pink is about friends and also romance even. And as I think that that romance of yours that's going to come to your life will bring you success and money. And also, since it's about sword, that person is someone like is practical and mature to handle you. And not someone who's a player type vibe. And they are honest as well with a sword here. So, with awakening, energetic upgrades, a new way of being, integration. So, why you feel low within this week is because you're accelerating, you're awakening. And in that awakening process... Um, if you notice that within this week, okay, you feel alone, you feel like you're in a hermit mood or you cry a lot, it's because you're releasing a lot of negativities, heartaches inside of you. That is why um, you are drawn on doing the things that you love to do, the things that you made you happy. Because at the same time, the heaven wants you to focus on your happiness and joy while you purge. So that the purging won't be that hard for you. And then the next is initiation. Rite of passage, crossing the threshold. So I believe that you guys encounter this a lot with your life. And as I told you that you will receive your good news, your good karma. Like this hardship that you have will be over sooner or later. Okay, if you feel like crying, if you feel like um, you feel very low, just purge the pain. Just let your tears flow to your eyes. 
and at the same time don't you know don't control yourself not trying to make yourself happy you know you need to tap into your joy as well so that you can you know accelerate your emotions whenever you can take um that purging or that pain anymore just like having a time out and then cry again okay i know that it sounds funny it sounds bipolar it's normal okay that you try to be happy you try to shift your focus every time you're sad you can't stay um sunny or you can stay sad for a very long time that's what i'm trying to say okay because there's always sun after you know the rain there's always a rainbow after the rain right it just keeps on going like a cycle so if somebody will call you bipolar and so on don't care about them because they don't understand how to heal they don't understand how you've been through that's why you know even if some people study um a lot of things or study people um they can only understand people if they experience it okay because you know some people things like some people has a good life like them and they tend to laugh at poor people you know with my experience i ride a jeepney and then there is a man whom suddenly ride a jeepney and ask for money and beg for money and that person can't even speak in our language correctly having a hard time to communicate even and then after that um beggar get off that jeepney an elderly person laugh and say you know that person from the province came to manila just to beg for money and they thought that life in manila is easy and we are working for our money and so forth and whatever she runs off yes she has a point okay she has a point that we work hard for our money but you must understand some people are poor and it's very hard for them to be successful and happy some people are like that and if you don't help these people what will happen to them could be because they are begging for money because they need money really not only for food not only for water could be they plan to start a business and then they need money for it and they cannot start a business if nobody supporting them because on that time when that beggar came to that chimney the angels asked me to give this certain amount of money and i give and i think that the angels will never tell me that if it's for not for a good reason okay so you know the only one who will understand us is somebody who have been through it and that's why they ask you to be alone for a while okay because some people will understand some people not doesn't and double mission channeling and uplifting humanity so this is one of your purpose i'm sensing like some of you could be light workers could be artistic field and angels say by your vibration by your artistic works it could help uplift people raise their vibration that's what i'm sensing as well double mission yeah you could your project will be uplifting if you're into drawing writing writing books could be and it will help humanity and then the next is trust the eagle and what is the niggling feeling trying to tell you so right now really you need to be alone so that you can be able to focus on with what you need to do and what the heaven is trying to tell you because you're in this awakening process and you're releasing a lot of hurts in the past and people also that are hurting 
and trust your spirit guides according to the angels. If you doubt too much, you cannot see the light, they say. So you have King of Raphael and then Page of Ariel. One more for... Okay, they asked me to pull more cards. So, we will pull more. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so that you may be able to know what are your advice for those who chose pile number two. The angels say relax within this week. Let your tears flow to your eyes and everything will turn out well. You don't have to, what they call this, to be consumed by your ego. Just let it be. Let it flow, they say. Anyway, you got this, the age of light, you've been training for this for lifetimes. So, what it tells me is that whatever happened to your life, um, you have to encounter it. Because I'm seeing here that even in your past lifetime, you also encounter, encounter this kind of things. But I think could be in your past life, you encounter, but then you wasn't able to fulfill your mission work on earth. And what mission is it? Is it, it's like this, okay? Creating heaven on earth, it's happening. That is your mission. Is to be kind, to be loving energy, and to be abundant as you can see with the greens here. Uh, you know, earth and water is a symbolism of abundance. Okay? And, you know, by the water, it brings life, food for the plants. And you will be abundant. And that is why they say, they gave you this task. They You encounter this kind of hardships in life. To have a compassionate heart. To understand people. Okay, what they going through. So that you can uplift them to be like you. Okay? To be successful and happy someday and trust that abundance will come their way. And have faith in God, have faith in the universe, have faith in the divine. You are meant to do a lot of things, they say. Take a break, a life's work, not a season, get off the treadmill. So anyway, what's going on now? I think you're a light worker, guys. Because you didn't... I'm sorry, I can hardly speak. Uh, suddenly, my throat chakra became like this. Anyway, with these cards that we have here, okay, it tells me that you've been doing a lot of light work job, you've been good to others, you've been giving like a water, giving life to others, and so forth. But then other people break your heart, and so on. Alright, so this time around, why you're in a stop period because you're awakening you're purging a lot of pain right and as i told you in doing so it's gonna what you call this pull down your energy or take out some of your energy so that's why they ask you to be alone okay take some time alone to purge your pain because some people may not understand why you're crying Okay, and also, um, shift your focus by doing the things that you love. That's why your business right now is based on what you really want to do or what you really like. Okay, so that's what you need to do within this week. And then the next is page of Ariel. Reliable, clever, educated, balance. An excellent opportunity will of will be offered to you i can understand why i can hardly speak right now scholarships are the pursuit of education time to get to work so i believe that um something will come to your life and this is again pink it is more on about romantic feels is what i'm getting with your vibe and whoever will come to your life will make you like this will make you happy and it also reminds me of um, a bell, okay, of Beauty and the Beast. Like she, be she was inside the mansion, right? And she became, you know, rich after being with the Beast. So 
after this transformation period i'm sensing like it will happen to you after this awakening process like someone will come to your life when the time is like this like you're accelerating you're awakening okay and it will just come out of nowhere and then the next is king of raphael warm generous honorable refined Yes, it is safe to trust. The ability to accomplish many things at once. Follow your creative passion. So within this week, they are asking you to focus on your creativity, on your talents and skills that makes you happy. And even though there is water, there is drama in your life that you need to purge the pain. Um, is that kind of creative and if you are real, okay, keep you standing. It's like um a staff okay as i told you before it's like a staff that will help you to be passionate about your life to keep on moving keep on pushing even if you're lonely you're feeling low you feel depressed and so forth the angels say that's why god gave you a gift of your talent so that you can be able to use it not only for you know happiness and joy but it can also bring you abundance and joy and happiness and it will attract a new person into your life who will bring you this vibration of loving care all right so that person will be a same vibration as you are whom is a nurturer somebody who's lovable and I'm tapping on a singer. I don't know why. Your person could be a singer. <laughs> okay. Just like what resonates, guys. Is there anything else? They said that, you know, don't expect love life right away. Okay? They're just telling you this so that you will rise your vibration. So that you will be more motivated to push forward with your life. Because you know to yourself that something great is coming to your life. It was like um, Saint, whoever that was, Saint John the Baptist, okay, when he was announcing about the birth of Christ, right, that Christ is coming, he is so happy, it was like your vibration, you know, something is coming, you're so happy, you feel uplifted, like, finally, after all these years, I'm gonna meet the love of my life, and so forth, <laughs> all right, so is there anything else? They say that's it. So anyway, thank you for watching pile number two and sending you all peace, love, and light. Bye.